my name is shiva and i have been really really looking forward to um, meeting all of you um, most of you would have seen me in the in the introduction to biomimicry snippet uh, in the inptel you know the website um, this has been this has been a, a uh, a meeting that I have I have looked forward to for a very long time. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for wanting to learn something. Thank you for uh, you know wanting to learn together. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Shiva. I am a, I am a guest faculty at IIT Madras. I'm the faculty for this course. Uh, very quickly, my background. I used to be a lawyer. I was uh, an advocate in the Madras High Court. I spent about 20 years at TCS. For the last seven years now, I, I teach various subjects at IIT Madras, ranging from creative thinking to biomimicry. Um, and we do a very interesting subject, uh, which is to help the campus person understand corporate life. So that's one of the more popular programs that we do. All right, now coming to biomimicry, you see that uh, the you know introduction in front of you, we have uh, Mrinal Lee, myself, uh, Professor Shiva Kumar, and uh, Professor Satya Seshadri, who will be uh, doing this course. Um, let me go to two important aspects for this course before we actually start teaching. One is the contents of the course, and the other is the structure of the course. As far as the contents are concerned, the contents are concerned, that's the content, right? So we have. Um, we have purposely put look look at look at the title. It says "Start Your Biomimicry Journey," right? Which means you are now standing in in the train station, and this train is going to take you on a long journey using these as content. These are probably you can you can symbolize them as stations, right? Station one, station two, station three, and each of you will decide. Each of you will decide when the train will stop. For me and uh, Mrinalni and Shiva and Satya, the train hasn't stopped because this is one of the stops for us teaching all of you. For some of you, it will stop soon. Some of you will stop later. I'm guaranteeing for most of you, the train will never stop. The journey to biomimicry, once you get onto the train, you can't stop. So what are we talking about in this course? We'll talk about, of course, the essentials of biomimicry, which is so important, which will help you understand the basics, basics of biomimicry. What is biomimicry? What is not? You, you'll also learn what you are mimicking, right? What is it that you are mimicking? Uh, I'm not going to get into the definition of biomimicry because that's for a later stage. I'm only talk, talking to you about the course contents. Uh, when, you, when you learn something as to what is something, you also need to learn why something, right? So therefore, why biomimicry? Um, this portion, the second portion, is probably one of the most interesting important critical things to learn in biomimicry, which is function, strategy and context, the interconnections and the nature's design principles. Nature's design principles. If you're wondering what, what that is, that is, don't worry. In about in, in a few minutes time, you will know what it is. Uh, one of the one of the highlights of this program that we have got feedback about from students and other people is that we are probably the only program that are linking biomimicry and the UN Sustainable Development Goals simply because you will notice that the UN Sustainable Goals completely will expand your mindset, right? Will expand your mindset to think about new problems in the world. We are also going to do systems thinking. Systems thinking again is, 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 is one of the one of the fundamentals of, of, of thinking tools. Right? My life has actually changed after I started learning systems thinking. I've started to understand why things happen. I know I can't prevent things from happening, but you can start to understand why things happen. And of course, the biomimicry process, that is how do you go from identifying a problem to actually designing a solution, right? So you will learn that because there's no point just telling you what is biomimicry and leaving you like that. It's also important that all of us learn, fine, I want to solve a problem, but how do I now reach the solution? So this is the basic contents of the course. As far as the structure of the course is, right, you can't just say content. So how have we designed it? One of the things that we really have been very, very committed to is engagement of the learner. We, you know, it's very, very difficult to speak on a platform like this and wonder whether we are engaging the learner. 
So we said, okay, let's put all our thoughts into it and find out how is it that we can keep you engaged. We understand that the human mind uh, cannot concentrate for more than a few minutes, right? Which is why we said, okay, let's have let's have several things in the in the in the in the structure of the course to help you. So I'm going to I'm going to there's a blank screen in front of you. I am I'm going to put a circle and I'm going to say course. structure, core structure, right? And then what I do, just watch what I'm doing because you learn how to do it yourself later. And then I have one branch here, there'll be a lot of lectures. Let me try and erase this. My handwriting is improving, right? There will be a lot of lectures and so therefore, all, all this is about all the classes will have these things. There will be lectures, there will be a case study. Why case study? Because you know, it is not just enough to tell you something. It is also important to know that someone in the world has actually used the principles of biomimicry and come to a solution which is working, right? That will give you the confidence that what you are learning works. So, there will be case study. There will also be group discussions. So, I will have a bunch of experts, students, people who are interested, people who have come, you know, as part of the biomimicry program. We will discuss important topics that are probably going through your mind. And that is what will happen if I was in front of you, I would have asked you some questions, we would have discussed with each other. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to use the opportunity of the platform to actually discuss those questions that are probably happening in a, in a learner's mind and use that opportunity to discuss certain points and all that. So, group discussions. And then there will also be, there will be, let us say, um, yeah, there will be a presentation from a student's work, presentation of a student project, of a student project. We have, we have um, about, about three or three, I think, yes, three batches of biomimicry at IIT Madras. We have had about 80 students go through our program and each of those students has picked up a United Nations Sustainable Development Goal and come back with a solution. So, what we are going to do, we are going to present that solution to you just to help you understand how that student has tackled that problem using biomimicry. And we are also, we are also going to discuss one mindset for biomimicry because we we have learned that by it's not enough that you learn something every subject needs a particular mindset right some subjects need lots and lots of hard work the attitude that you really work hard some subjects need a lot of thinking some subjects need a lot of talking some subjects need need a mindset that says these are the one or two or three or four things i need in order to become a biomimic that 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 term should now get familiar to you so we got lectures case studies group discussions mindset student project presentation of student project and we also have we will also have a we will have a, an activity that we will suggest you do in every class right and then uh, we are also going to have, uh, and we will also have, we will also have something very interesting for you. We are also going to take you through important websites. We are not going to teach you from a website. We are only going to make it interesting for you to, to, to browse the website. Because many times what happens is you tell the student that there is a website and he just keeps it like that, right? He does not do anything about it. So, we are saying let us, there is so much of information on a website, right? Some, some people have really worked hard to create it and that the website can be a great learning tool. So, we are going to help you go through the website. We will go through the important aspects of the website so that and 
and you never know, we may actually ask you a question from the website. So, you know, all right. So, that is what the course structure is. So, we what we saw was the contents of the course, we saw the course structure and um, welcome to the biomimicry course once again.